for St. Patrick's Day, I made a champagne flute. Yes, I know it sounds uh, oxymoron because uh, the Irish usually don't drink champagne. They drink whiskey, they drink beer, they don't drink champagne. But I'm sure that some of them do drink champagne. And for them, I made a champagne flute. Started with a wild olive log, um, creating, starting to create a tenant on both sides, so I can turn it around. And you will see how I do it step by step. Um, how I create it, use resin, and this time green because St. Patrick. So I think now is a great time for who for the people that did not subscribe to subscribe and press the bell so you will know when I do new videos. So, first up, I'm creating a cylinder, um, and the th and the um, diameter of the cylinder will be exactly the diameter of a of a pipe that I've got, a PVC pipe that will be my vessel. And when I finished with the with the cylinder, then I will go to the next step, watch and see, and that will be the area where the green resin will sit in. Uh, when I got now to the to the right thickness, I just increased the speed. I pumped up the speed to about 2,000, not about 2,000, and I'm using the carbine V shape. Um, and I just take nice, smooth uh, uh, pieces. Just to be on the safe side and not to have this, pro uh, this uh, cylinder too long, I'm cutting a small piece out of it so it will sit properly into the vessel. I'm creating the markings for an idea that I've got and I'm going to cut out a few pieces out of this um, flute and I'll fold them up with resin. I'm cutting two grooves into the wood and I'm going to cut later two diagonal grooves but those one I made, you see here, I made them those grooves those grooves are made uh, in the benzo sorry, uh, in the benzo, yeah and now I'm going to chisel out this piece of wood so it will be replaced later with resin I'm going to drill uh, two 8mm um, holes and the idea behind it is when I put it into the resin the air bubbles will have enough space uh, uh, and a place to come out so they won't get stuck and uh, hopefully they won't get stuck. I'm making a vessel and I'm checking if, if it sits properly and I'm using green I'm using a bucket so in case if it's leaking it's not going to leak out and slowly slowly I'm pushing up the resin and then because it's see-through I can see if there is lack of uh, resin and you can see uh, through the holes I can add on so that will be more than enough resin and and it will fill up all the gaps. I thought so, but did not work my way.
cleaning up the resin and the end so I can I can put it back into the um, chuck on in the right direction and start working the, and this side will be the side of the cup and the other side is going to be the base Not surprised at all, I found out that I've got um, air bubble inside. I'm going to start slowly cutting to a semi shape. So I'll see how much do I have to um, put resin in because I'm going to put some more resin in. And um, But then I need to take a little bit of wood away because that will be the shape. So I don't have to add so much resin. But now you can see how much resin I'm missing. I put in the, the, the repair resin with gel and uh, when I cleaned the gel down, I discovered that I'm not really happy the way the gel looks like. So I'm going to machine it down as much as possible and then I'll see, I'll find a solution, I'll, I'll, I'll find a solution. In the meantime, I'm just drilling the inside and that will be the size of the, of the um, flute in the inside. I have to be very careful with the with the green rim, but I've got a very strange feeling it's not going to survive. I don't know why. It's too too fine and too small, and I'm afraid that um, something will happen to it. Uh, I had it before, and hopefully I'll manage slowly, slowly to avoid a crack or anything like that in the upper rim, the green upper rim. And what happened here was that this small piece where I put the resin in, the gel resin just flew out. You can see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put tape on the inside and I'm going to put resin on the top, a little bit, few drops of resin and that's all. And that's the next day when the resin got dry already and I'm continuing with um, shaping the cup of the flute. I got it to the right size that I wanted and now I'm going to um, sandpaper it. The gloves got, on the gloves I've got the scotch so the, the pad sticks to the scotch and it's easier to clean on the inside and uh, you're not going to hurt yourself and the scotch doesn't fly away. A little bit of Yorkshire grid goes a long way and I'll finish it with the Yorkshire grid and as much as I was afraid of it happened a small piece of the of the rim just flew away when I was sand sanding it 
and I'll have to take it all together off because it didn't look nice. A little bit of obi shine juice and continue with it. The time come to start shaping the whole, the whole um, champagne flute, the leg, the base. Uh, slowly, slowly, because I want to have a. I'll try to do a, a narrower base, narrower stem that I usually do, and uh, try very hard for it not to break. I'm using the um, diamond detailing tool uh, from Blackline and the, and the mini Blackline tool um, so I can create like a semi knob or semi half a, a quarter of a ball or half a ball and um, Yorkshire grid and after you put the Yorkshire grid you can see already the, the beautiful color of the of the olive wood I love olive wood. Yorkshire grit on the stamp and you can see how beautiful the colors of this olive are and now on the whole thing I'm going to put um, obi shine juice I love to put obi shine juice on wild olive and look at the pattern of this wood unbelievable and now I have to be very careful I'm doing it in an angle and I'm parting it and when you're parting with this black line parting tool it's so easy and then of course what I done is I sandpaper it with the, with the with the drill, clean it, put my logo on top of it, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, here is my logo, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my channel, and uh, put some comment. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on my next video. Tell me what do you think of it.